In 1943, a sparsely populated farming community in East Tennessee was transformed almost overnight into a secret military industrial complex. The purpose? To help usher in the nuclear age and end World War II. Today, what is now the Oak Ridge Reservation addresses energy, environmental, and security issues through three distinct campuses. The Oak Ridge National Laboratory, focusing on science and technology solutions in areas such as nuclear science, clean energy, and supercomputing. The Y-12 National Security Complex, dedicated to defense missions and the East Tennessee Technology Park, an environmental cleanup site that will ultimately advance economic development goals for the region. In 2011, the Department of Energy selected URS CH2M Oak Ridge, or UCOR, to tackle cleanup at ETTP, along with other contaminated sites throughout the Oak Ridge Reservation. UCOR combines the capabilities of URS and CH2M Hill global leaders in nuclear facility cleanup. For nearly two decades, URS CH2M Hill collaborations have delivered complex cleanup projects for DOE, driven by safety excellence, technical competency, and value-added solutions. URS CH2M Hill teams have demolished nearly 1,600 structures, including plutonium and uranium processing facilities, and first-of-a-kind reactors. The majority of UCOR's work is focused at the ETTP, where skilled, dedicated workers are decontaminating and demolishing excess facilities like K-25, the former gaseous diffusion plant, disposing of hazardous and radioactive waste, and remediating environmental sites. You know, this cleanup of uh, K-25 has been going on for a long time. Obviously, it is at a high cost. Get this building down. So by completing it, we stop spending money on K-25. Since arriving in 2011, UCOR has demolished the North End and most of the East Wing of K-25. I mean, there's been an enormous amount of work involved in taking this building to where it is right now. The workforce here is just amazing. Their, their fortitude in getting something done, they're, they're on top. They're highly trained, highly motivated. Our safety record is impeccable. We're on top of it. All that remains of the 44-acre facility is the 440,000-square-foot east portion, contaminated with technesium-99, a slow-decaying radioactive metal, and an 88,000-square-foot buffer unit. It's definitely a milestone to get started on the, on the demo. It means the deactivation's done, and uh, it's, we're, we're on the way now, so we can, we can see the end. The end is in sight. In total, UCOR workers have demolished 1.8 million square feet of K-25, once the largest facility under one roof in the world. An enormous amount of debris is generated from demolition of a facility the size of K-25. When we first showed up here, the approach that was taken to D&D was to completely demolish the building. Once the building was demolished, then to come back in to sort, segregate, package, and ship the waste. The problem with that was it took a long time and it left the waste exposed to the elements, creating runoff problems which were environmentally not advantageous. UCOR uses a pack-as-you-go approach to K-25 debris. Waste is hauled as it is generated, resulting in lower life cycle costs, schedule efficiencies, and reduced risk of compliance issues associated with aging waste. We cut down anywhere from seven to 8,000 square feet of material a day and ship it out. Uh, we have to keep dump trucks going. It's just a lengthy process from start to finish. At our on-site environmental and waste management facility, which is our circular disposal facility, We've received just short of 20,000 loads uh, for a total of about four and a half million cubic feet of waste. At other Oak Ridge Reservation sites, UCOR directs environmental cleanup of contaminated sites and maintains safe configuration of buildings and structures slated for future cleanup. At DOE's request, UCOR stepped in to address the largest contributor of groundwater contamination at the Oak Ridge National Lab, a 6,500-pound liquid waste storage tank buried 10 feet below grade. Since the mid-1990s, tens of millions of dollars have been spent to minimize the release of contaminants from the tank. UCOR completed the project in just eight months. 
UCOR also completed a radioactive and hazardous waste roundup to reduce environmental impacts and surveillance and maintenance costs at facilities awaiting final cleanup and disposition. In parallel with cleanup activities, UCOR is supporting DOE and the Community Reuse Organization of East Tennessee to convert the site into a private sector industrial park. We came here specifically to get the work done safely. And so what it means to me is it's a testimony to the people that work here, their dedication and the fact that they can do this kind of work safely and achieve project completion ahead of schedule and under budget. At UCOR, we remain focused on instilling confidence, producing results, and delivering value.